Peace, everybody. So um, this is Dave, for those of you who don't know my voice. We are waiting for Quest to come in the room. And um, we'll peace, get, everybody. We'll get underway. So um, I should probably mute This that. is Dave, for those of you who don't know my voice. <laughs> Where we is are waiting coming? for Quest to come in the room. Right there, let's get rid of that. Yeah, so as I was saying, uh, we're waiting for Quest to come in the room, into the room, and uh, we'll get underway. So you can probably go ahead and start sharing if you're going to go, if you're going to share, you can go ahead and start sharing the um, program with your contacts, your friends, your enemies, your family, your frenemies, and everybody in between. And uh, we'll get right to you. Hey, Frenchie. How you doing? Yeah. So yeah, we'll get underway as soon as Quest comes in the room. Um, I reached out to him. Looked like he's coming on here in a second. So I am, uh, the screen is off Quest. Uh, so they can only hear our voices at this moment because we're waiting for you to come through. And uh, so can't hear you yet. Can't hear me yet? Yeah, okay, that's good. Pump it up. All right, there we go. Yeah, all right. There it is. Yeah. So I'm going to, uh, looks like you're on screen. I am not on screen. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted to chat with you for a second, on, uh, Quest. Yep. Let me uh, hit you on the inbox. Okay. And uh, talk to the people, bro. And I'll uh, I'll hit that in the inbox. Yeah, go ahead, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you already know what it is. Thursday, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm preparing here myself. I'm multitasking today. Um, the, yeah. I've been running around a couple of times this morning, you know what I'm saying? Trying to keep the wife and the family happy, you know? You know how that go already. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's up? We ready like Freddie? Yeah, man, we are. Uh, we are, man. Uh, That's what's up. Looks like all of the uh, feeds are going as planned, Dope. which is good. Dope. And uh, yeah, it looks like everything is good to go. Let me check one last thing. I'm checking Marriage Ain't for Suckers. It's really a splash page, y'all. It's not a web address, not a website. Y'all should already know that. But uh, it's a splash page. It's a it's a it's a way to it's, it's triage. It's a way for y'all to, you know, what I mean, reach out to us and all that kind of stuff. Y'all should already know that. All right. So clearly that's working. Yep. Let's get them. All right. So I'll get on the screen so it's not blank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Quest. I put the uh, video mm -hmm. uh, live right on the page there. Dope. So Dope. all right. So I'm gonna come on screen so it's not blank anymore. Let's go. Bye, guy. There I go. Leave the page. Yes. Mm -hmm. Word. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. So you got my my uh, the inbox, bro. No, hold on. Oh, oh on the uh. Yeah. Hold on a second. Let's get that cracking. All right. Yeah. So I guess we can get underway. I'll wait for you to hit me back on that. And uh, let's get underway, bro. And uh, see what we got. Yeah, I just see the, uh, the link in the inbox here. The chat box, sir. Oh. Sorry there, sir. Sorry. So, okay, cool. All right, so let's do what we do, homeboy, and uh, see what we got here. Let's go. I am looking at all my devices. They're clean and ready to go. And whoa, look at that! Very low. Who's very low? Quest? Yeah, Quest. Let me let me see. Don't pump up anything, Quest. Let me see what I can do over here. Low uh, in terms of what? The volume. Oh, 
Uh, let me see. Did you change anything over there? I did not. Okay, good. So I'll take care of it on my end. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I'll, yeah, take, I'll, I'll take care of it on my end. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I bet y'all heard that, though. Y'all heard that, right? What's that? Yeah. You did, you're, you're, uh, <laughs> pump up, pump up, pump up the volume. Oh, uh, did, did my mic go up? Nah, you, you said, <clears throat> oh. <laughs> I, they, I bet they heard that one. Oh yeah, no doubt. <clears throat> all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So we ready to go, man. Oh yeah. I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. did you just turn that up? No, nah, I didn't. Oh gosh. I ain't turn anything up. She right where she's supposed to be. No, I mean, you didn't touch it when you came, like, just now? Uh -uh. Like, uh-uh. Oh, so that was just a fluke. That was yeah. just a fluke. All right, don't don't worry with it. I got it. Because I cranked it, but it just sounded the same until just now. But, oh, okay. Oh, All right. Oh, my goodness. What the? <laughs> God, that's a problem. All right. <laughs> yeah. Something funny. Technology, y'all. You get it. Oh, you already know how it go already. All right. Technology. So I think... I, do it I think, uh, think I just balanced it out. All mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So we good, man. Uh, yeah. yeah. So let's get underway. And uh, listen, I need y'all to do some quests. I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell them something, man. Yeah. Go tell, ahead. Them tell them before we get on. Tell them on the audio live. Yeah. Tell them. So if you want to come on at some point soon. Yep. Soon. I'm talking about today. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we should just bring. I think we should just bring Isaiah just on the strength. Of Isaiah was ready to no, go. Isaiah, Isaiah is yeah, yeah. We we we. I'm not sure if we're gonna do two. We probably not. But mm -hmm. Isaiah, yo, uh, go to marriageingforsuckers.com. Yep, and uh, hit that um, hit the contact link, and mm -hmm. just say whatever so I can uh hit you with the hit you with the link. Hear me. Yep. So, uh, but when it's time, when it's time, we, so, so go ahead and hit the marriage ain't for suckers page. The contact is right on. It's just, it's just a splash page. Mm -hmm. Put your information in there and hit send. And, uh, I'll hit you back with the link. And when, and when we ready, you'll be on. Right. So just stay, just go ahead and stay on Facebook live and, uh, you'll know when it's time. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to hit you with the link and, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be good to go. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Let's go with the audio. Mm -hmm. Right on the set. Hey, yo, Quest, it's time to give the people something, man. What are we talking about today? Yeah, 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 yeah. Taking a nice little stretch here, D. What up, y'all? I see that. Yep. what, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? It's your boy, Quest, the host with the most, and welcome to another edition of the Marriage Ain't For Suckers podcast alongside my co-host, you feel me? My mellow, my man, my man, my mellow, L. David Harris. What up? Yeah. Yeah, thank what you. Up, though? Thank you. Yeah, thank man. You. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what up, man? Thank you. I love, <laughs> I love the I love when the applause come in. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. You're so thank kind. You thank much. you. Thank you. No, no, no. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have yeah, a seat. Thank you. Everybody thank have you. a seat. Thank you. Yeah, well, I, you know, I, I thought you would do my, you know, ring the bell. You know what I'm saying? That's usually to let the, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we made that a thing. Oh, we did well, make classes in session then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what up, everybody? Um, welcome again, like I said, to another edition of Marriage Ain't for Suckers podcast. Yeah. Um, like for real, man, I love what we do, D. Did I, did I, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but let me just say it now. If I've never said it before, God is good, worthy to oh, yeah. praise. And I'm thankful for, for the opportunity to be able to get what we do, man. To get to do what we do, where up? Speak passionately 
um, about this thing called marriage, and I love doing it with my dude. You feel me? Word. That would be me. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yep. that's what's up. Yep, yep. So, yeah, man. Yeah, man. What's what, what's going on? What's cracking today? Dog, it's, it's about to be on. Like, we're going next level today. We're going to start with next level. Like, no, listen. The trajectory was like this. Yes, yeah. Last week. Yeah. It's about to go. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. <laughs> Straight up. All the way up. Almost to where you backwards. All yeah. the way up. We're going straight up. We're going straight up, Quest, because we we just moved into a whole new station, bro. Yeah. And uh, I'm excited. You know, I don't ever get it. I don't se- I seldom get excited. Yeah. Yeah. So I, know. I turn up. I turn up as much as I can because it's Quest. Yeah. But, no doubt. Uh, I, I'm not an excitable kind of guy. Yeah. So when yeah. I say I'm excited, like if it was Quest and Quest, said it, he'd be yeah. jumping up and down like the way I am right now. He would yeah. be jumping through the roof like normal people. Yeah. Yeah. So if I just say I'm excited, I'm I'm out the frame, man. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah. Well, let me get the preliminaries out the way yeah, so we get can it. get into what we do, man. Um, as always, shout out to Breathe University. Uh, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Um, like for real. Uh, thank God I'm married. It's dope. You know what I'm saying? We have yeah. a yeah. community of marriages or family of marriages, if you will. So yeah. and not just marriages, if you want to be a better entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? You want to get into the speaking game. Let me tell you, Breathe University is the place to be. Uh, for more information, please visit www.breatheuniversity.com and join this family of learners Word. and learning. Yep. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Look like Isaiah hit the inbox, but uh, okay. I'm going to not get too too crazy excited yet. Hold fast, Isaiah. Stay in this Stay in this zone with us for a little while. We'll holler at you. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so how about we go ahead and get this, the rest of the preliminaries done. Yeah, no and, doubt. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna put my radio voice on now. Hold on for a second. I gotta turn that down. <laughs> Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. <laughs> Gets your free audio book download and 30 day free trial at www.audibletrial.com forward slash marriage with more than 180,000 titles from which to choose for your Android, iPhone, Kindle, and MP3 player. And uh, for your troubles, I think you should just search for a book you like. Yeah. I got a lot of recommendations, but I think today, go search out a book you like. That's always your option. Yeah, I'm just saying. But normally we have something for you. But today, I think you should just just look through, man, look through the, I said That's over 180,000 titles from which to choose, man. Yeah, no doubt. So uh, go for it and let us know, man. Hit us on marriagingforsuckers.com and let us know what you chose, man. I'm interested. Interested. Yeah, man. We got people in the car, people in classrooms watching and listening. So that's a blessing, man. We got we got a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of good interest here, bro. So indeed, indeed. I'm excited about it, man. Indeed. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. So what's good today? Um, Today is a uh, um, lovely Um. Um, uh, shouts out to, uh, of course, as uh, as always, our normal listeners. You know, what I'm saying the families who, yeah, the, you, you know that that, that listening weekly. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, but we 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 doing something nice today, man. Yeah, um, let's get out of the way, man. I'm 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 cranked. Yeah. Um, as always, man. Shout out to 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 uh, Officer Craig Henry up there in uh, Philadelphia. Yeah, Philly PD, stand up. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, them yeah, boys. Yeah, in blue, them boys in blue. Yeah, no doubt. And uh, uh, my peeps, Dewan Matunga, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Shouts out to him as well. Yeah. Uh, but let's get into uh, what today's uh, topic is. Yeah, we're talking about marriage momentum today, bro. Ooh. Momentum. Ooh. Yeah. As my momentum. Man Toby, my man Toby would say, oh, by the way, shouts out to Toby who's getting married on the 16th. Uh-huh. Toby and, uh, and Wigwi, you know what I'm saying? Who's getting married on the 16th and who... Okay. Would, you know, become a part of the marriage clique. You know what I'm saying? The marriage ain't for suckers crew. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, Welcome him in as well. But yeah, yeah. you talking about momentum now, you said? He gonna need some momentum. Yeah, marriage momentum, bro. Because, yeah. the, you know, the fact is that sometimes we need to... Un- no, we, all, we always need to know in all of our relationships when it comes to man and woman. We're not talking about just generic relationships. In this case, man and woman. Some of you married, some of you intending to be married, yeah. remarried almost married, all of that. 
Yeah. Uh, but we want to we want to kind of get a sort of a pulse. So we just want to give y'all some sizzle on that and uh, get underway, <laughs> man. It's a snapshot. Oh, <laughs> it's a snapshot quest. Yeah, no doubt. It's a snapshot. <laughs> I can't so, wait. You, I mean, you gonna you gonna let me loose, or you gonna get you gonna get started, or what? What, what you want to do, man? Man, you get loose, man. And now, uh, 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 yeah, I'll uh, you send the message. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right, all right, all right. So here's the thing. Now, theoretic. This is theoretic. Theoretical. Now, everybody has sort of a model when it comes on to people like Quest and I, like with marriage stuff. But theoretically, there are one, two, three, four, five five different sort of attitudinal sets mm -hmm. when it comes to relationships. Of course, we're very interested in marriage and preparation for marriage, mm -hmm. but five of them. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about just, you know, sort of an overview of the mindset, like resolute. These are all going to be ours. Resolute, yep. rational, yep. romantic, restless, mm -hmm. and reluctant. Yep. Come on, now, Quest, I just took an assessment. You know, you and I are certified, right? Oh, no doubt. Uh, no doubt. And uh, both both, both Simone and I, my wife, I call her Bonita Cristina. Yeah, no doubt. Both of us are resolute, Quest. What does resolute mean? Wow. Yeah, wow. in terms of, and I'm off the charts, like wow. off the charts on the resolute piece. Wow. Yeah, so resolute so, basically means, like yeah, in terms of marriage motivation, extremely motivated. Yep. But in terms of the theme, resolute is divorce is not, not an option. An option. Not an option. I love it. Not an option. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, we hearing your phone over there, homie. Yeah, I, I got you. Cool. So, okay, I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna just use those two, right? Those two mm -hmm. categories. We'll come back for it. Right. For rational, it's a moderate sort of motivation, and the thought of it is marriage is hard work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Romantic people which actually represent 19% of those polled and, and a good number of people polled. I'm not going all, you know, yeah. statistics on you and sociology on you. Cause you know, I get down like that quest. Yeah. <laughs> but they have a high motive. They have a high marriage motivation. Mm -hmm. We'll live happily ever after. Isn't that, we should, we should play the Yo, music roll credits, isn't it? Yeah. yeah right there. Yeah. Right yeah. Where we're coming. Yeah. For the restless, which represents 22% of the people yeah. low yeah. for now. I said for now, for now, but that I could need, change. It could change. Mm -hmm. I need more. I need more time. Mm -hmm. And then reluctant, as ain't the term it. suggests, yeah, is the even, lowest. They ain't even thinking about it. Like, why take the risk? Like, why I want to do that? I don't yeah. want to do that. They're Matter not even what? thinking about it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's talk about resolute a little bit, man, because I, I just like the resolute. I, I like resolute. I, I like it. all to a degree, if you're honest with yourself. Uh, before the before the before the fact, because that's a whole nother issue. Here's the truth of the matter, though, D. It, yeah. And and I and this is just my personal belief. There's yeah. no, you, you know, uh, you know, empirical data or you know, the, whatever you want to call it, no research. But I believe you believe. I believe. Mm -hmm. I believe that if you get married, then you should indeed have a resolute mindset. Okay, so the divorce is not an option, and your expectation in this theory is that uh, there's personal fulfillment in marriage. Yeah, I believe that you should. It's funny. I asked that question one time on Facebook and it was, um, it, well, um, Instagram, it took a poll. And yeah. um, of course, the majority of people said that they, that, that uh, divorce should not be an option. You know, should not be an option or is not, not an option for them. The, no, the majority, it should not be an option. You know, no, 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 that's, no, that's not what I'm asking you question. The people were they saying for them? Yeah, no, no, no. I didn't ask. I didn't okay. ask the question okay, okay, like okay. that. I said, should okay. divorce outside of like okay. abuse? Gotcha. Physical, you know, and some other you know things that are uh, and and for the purposes of cheating, should divorce be an option? Gotcha. And they said no. No. You know what I'm saying so. So the, the people believe in in that, but I'm just saying like when me and Faith first got together, dude, and we yeah. started dating. Yeah. You know, saying that we were talking, and you know when we were getting to the place of marriage, I was like, yo. Um, you know, I don't know about you, but for me, divorce is not an option. You know, Word. I asked her, "Is like, yo, is that the same, you know, mindset for you?" I wish yeah. I knew what to term it then. You know, saying, "Do you have the same resolute mindset?" If you resolute, will. I like you that word. Man. I love it, man. It yeah. means that you're resolved. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you are complete on thinking that whatever it is that you're thinking. Um, yeah. I said to her, it, "You know, is divorce an option for you?" And if so, if it is an option for you, then we might need to start exploring some other options then. 
Yeah. You know saying? I, I, I mean, plainly put, you know what I'm saying? No, no disrespect to the queen, but yeah, that, that's pretty much what, what I said. And she was like, no, that is my belief as well. And to right. this day, Word. like no matter what happens, comes hell or high water, she's she's down like four flats. You feel good me? stuff, man. Yeah. Listen, man, just because I know I made it, I didn't make a promise. I just kind of said it. So I'm going to go back on what I just kind of said, just because my friend Susan is in the room. Yeah. And Susan used to be my provost when I was in academic administration. So we got oh, a little bit more sort of academic. Let's OK. So we're not just talking in the air. Thirty six hundred young adults. Yeah. Equal number of men and women were actually polled in this case. So that's the test. That's the sample group. Mm -hmm. And so for those who had a had a resolute mindset. Mm -hmm. regarding marriage, mm -hmm. the, the eldest of the group were resolute. And you, you almost, you almost wow. kind of, you could almost predict that, but you just shouldn't, you need to, you know, deal with the test, the test, yeah. you know, the, the yeah. group. Uh, yeah. So, and, and they were the highest educated, mm -hmm. which is very interesting to me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about the, the rational people. Okay, come on. The ones that say that marriage is hard work. We all say that to a degree. Mm -hmm. Well, not all. Most of us say that to a degree. Mm -hmm. But they say divorce is an option. Hmm. It's an option. So what, I mean, what does that mean, Quest? Because I don't know if I want to go to the extreme of what I'm thinking. I, I don't know. But if I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it would be an option for cheating or for physical abuse okay so that doesn't mean something negative necessarily nah. all the way like like they just ready to jump out like nah. but, okay. but no because because here i mean i am a, i am a believer along those lines like i do not believe yeah i do not believe that anybody should be in any relationship where you just constantly getting verbally or physically abused i'm i'm not for that and and under none of those circumstances, like like for real, I'm not about to stay in no. You you, you understand what I'm saying? Like mm -mm, I'm not for that. Get up and get your stuff and bounce. Yeah, okay, bounce is not the same as divorce. It may be, but it isn't necessarily. Yeah, yeah. No. Bounce, bounce is like physically get out of the way, get out the place. No, no, no. I'm just talking about when you I'm, say I'm bounce. About, what are you talking about? I'm talking about like if 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 he has if he has I, I can understand and and I'm not saying understand in the sense of him putting hands on you at no time. Let me just put the disclaimer on here. At no time should anyone, any spouse be putting their hands on another spouse, male or female, you know what I'm saying? Whether yeah. you can beat them or not, like that's just unacceptable. The Got first it. time it happens and uh, you know, you, you know, you need help. You need help. I, 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 immediately you need help. We're not even going to say, Oh, it's a one time thing or whatever the case may be. You need help. And then during that time, we, yeah, let's let's take a break. Let you get your help that you need, and then we can come back together if that's if they so so desire. But right. the second time that that happens, like peace. What does peace mean, dude? I, I still don't know Divorce. what peace. Means. Like, like okay, really, I, I need clear need, language. I yeah, got. It. No, I hear what need, you're saying. Yeah, no, we need to we need to split. We need to part. Yeah, because okay. it happened the first time, and you allowed it to happen again. Like, mm -mm, nope, no. Okay. No. Well, that's that's you know this these people the rational people say it's an option based on whatever their criteria are. Yeah, uh, Isaiah, go ahead and hit that link. You may be in a waiting room when you come in, but you can watch from the waiting room. Uh, get your phone or 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 whatever you got computer queued up and ready to go. Uh, all right, so let's talk about the romantic people. The romantic again are the we will live happily ever after people, right? Yeah. yeah. The expectation. Yeah. From marriage is lifelong love. Yeah. However, 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 a divorce is an option. And 67% mm -hmm. of uh, those respondents were female. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other set, the other two set were, were both male. Okay. Like, I mean, male and female mixed, like a good, a good cross section. But this was overwhelmingly female. Mm -hmm. Lifelong love, happily ever after. Divorce is an option. So, you know, there are a number of reasons why somebody with the mo romantic mindset toward marriage mm -hmm. uh, might consider divorce. Mm -hmm. But if, if you push somebody like that to the point where they're considering divorce, you've done some. Yeah, you've done something. Yep, you've done something. Yeah, because they because they've been fairy tale. I mean, true, there could be disappointed expectations, may, maybe realistic, sometimes unrealistic. But mm -hmm. barring that. Yeah. You know, they really have that, just like the term suggests, like the mindset that says I'm in this and it's so wonderful. I've been waiting for this, you know, for who knows when from mm -hmm. I was a child or whatever.
Here's why I like what you're saying right now, D. Mm -hmm. Some people think that marriage is a glass slipper. Oh, a glass slipper. In other words, some people think that marriage is a fairy tale. Uh huh. You get married, you enjoy each other's company. Yeah. And, and, and while, while those of us who are married, I know they're like, where would they get that from? The truth of the matter is, some people do think like that. And right. now we're talking about statistical, like this, the evidence to show that. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. But what it does is it pushes you into this arena now to start looking at marriage in a different light. And when I say look at it in a different light, I'm saying like finding out what it is and what it isn't. And one thing it definitely isn't is a glass slipper. Okay. All right. Yeah, for those of us, I'm okay. So there are people who live in other parts of the world that don't know what glass slipper means. What is that? Glass slipper means like, you know, like for real, you remember the whole Cinderella story, fairy tale, you know, king, the prince having a ball one night, you know, fairy godmother comes along, blesses her, turns the pumpkin into a, a, a into an illustrious carriage and yeah. the three mice into, you know, some, you know, some beautiful, you know, th thunderbreads, you know what I'm saying? Some, uh -huh. <laughs> some horses, you know, takes her to the ball. And then the, 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 the fairy godmother tells her, listen, you need to be, when the clock strikes 12, you need to be out of there because wow. everything's going to return back to normal. Oh, oops. It's to, yep, the, the dress is going to disappear. The hair is, the you know what I'm saying? All the jewelry, everything going to disappear. The, the uh -huh. horse going to turn back to mice. And as she was leaving, you know, running out of there because the clock started striking 12 and she ran up out of there, she dropped a fairy tale slipper. You know, and the uh -huh. story goes on to say that he goes through all the village looking for who the you know, slipper would fit. And then he put yeah. the slipper on her and it fit. And then every day lived happily ever after. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's why it's called a fairy that. tale. Yeah. That's yeah, some, devil, that's that. some devilish untrue yeah. fairy tale. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. No doubt. And so, it's not real. yeah. And, and, and I love this because now what you're doing when we have this discussion is it opens up Pandora's box in yeah. terms of finding out what marriage is and what it isn't. And people need to know that before right. they get in. You know what I mean? Word up. Well, I'm going to bring my man on screen. Isaiah's in the room mm -hmm. and uh, we'll continue to talk here, Quest. Uh, I'm going to hit the button so he can come through. But uh, let's talk about the restless people. And this this group is actually overwhelmingly male. Mm -hmm. Seventy percent of them are male. Yeah. And uh, what's up? We see you on screen, homie. We're, we're getting through this restless. Uh -huh. uh, and I'll unmute you myself here. Yeah. Um, we got Isaiah on screen for those of you just listening. Isaiah. But, uh, what's yeah, up, man. sir? Hello, hello. That's my yeah. BU family right there. What's going on, man? Going good. Yeah, glory, to God. glory to God. Glory to Mary Jane for Suckers podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. no doubt. <laughs> let's, 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 let's talk real quick about the restless thing and then and then and let and then Isaiah, we get him get him to chat with us. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the population in this case, the split is overwhelmingly male. This is actually more male than the romantic piece was female. Mm -hmm. 3% more. Mm -hmm. And of course, marriage, I mean, the, the divorce acceptance is what, as what, a last resort. Hold on, hold on. Make it plain for me. What are you saying is more male? The restless, the, the group. Oh, okay, were, okay. Were yeah. Yeah. male. 70% yeah, yeah. of the oh, respondents no were male that were restless. Oh, no doubt. And marriage motivation is low for now. So these are people who are, are prospective marrieds. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't mean that people necessarily change once they become married, yeah. if, if they do ma get married. Yeah, but this yeah. is, you know, these are people who are thinking about it. That's, that's kind of painful stats, in, in, in the, though. Huh? That's kind of painful stats, though. You know what, what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I wonder if, the, if, the, if, if those stats, you know, talk, speak to age range. You know yeah, they saying? do. They definitely do. The youngest set of people in that, in, in, uh, of these five <laughs> mindsets is the restless group. But, that, but it's cool because these people say that they need more time. Their interest is low. They need more time. Oh, okay. But at the same time, the, divar the divorce piece, they're saying that's as a last resort. So mm -hmm. it, it's not so predictable through the, you know, through the, through the, through the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. So what's up, Isaiah? I know you got something for us. Last week you wanted to come on, man. I wasn't trying to tease you last week. No, I no, you're, you're fine. You're we're fine. fine. Um, no, I, even just hearing the beginning when they talked about um being in an abusive relationship is one of the deal breakers for it i actually went through that and so when quest was speaking on what it, or even when you asked quest what does peace peace look like 
Mm -hmm. um, the mm -hmm. separation was was beyond peaceful. And that's not saying that Quest, you know, Quest wasn't trying to like dumb down like being in an abusive relationship. But right. what it looked like for me was you have your core values challenged because you poured so much into one person. And um, even in BU and even on this podcast, when we talk about giving up good for great, I thought I was at great. And so when that <laughs> greatness was challenged in my mind, it was one of those, it was something that I struck as I struggled with the greatness of that. I thought I had with that relationship. Yeah. That when I was finally able to get over, like, that's not how marriage is supposed to look like me getting beat up after working all day. Right. Then I, re then I realized uh, what the next step was, which was to separate myself from the relationship. Oh yeah. No doubt. Got you, bro. Now think about think about this this sec this last group in this in in these mindsets. Just imagine now with everything that Isaiah just said, y'all. Mm -hmm. If Isaiah's daddy is is what Isaiah just described, like it's not Isaiah anymore. It's Isaiah's daddy, right? Mm -hmm. Isaiah is now a child. Mm -hmm. Isaiah is in this marriage, and Isaiah is very perceptive, mm -hmm. emotionally and cognitively. Mm -hmm. Could it be that? He might be this last group reluctant mm -hmm. and the marriage motivator motivation for those at, is at the lowest. And the question is, why take the risk? Mm -hmm. And then the expectation, this is not necessarily positive expectation like I want this, but the expectation in that mindset of reluctance is there's a loss of identity. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's straight up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Divorce acceptance, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's, it's very interesting. So we have to be really, we have to be cognitive, not only for the children that are in our marriages, if we're already married, but for those who be cognizant of those who are watching us in any of our relationships, including marriage. Oh, no doubt. But we we said it before, man. And I, I, every time we we come to this, this area right here about marriage not being just for us. Yeah. Uh, you know, Jay-Z comes to mind. You know what I'm saying? Streets are watching. Cops keep clocking, waiting for you to break, make your first mistake. You know what I'm saying? Like they're yeah. watching intently. Like, okay. And, and and here's the funny thing: the first people that are watching is unless unless you have you know if you have children, they're the first people that are watching. Mm -hmm. You know, your kids are watching. Like for real, Nico is five, and my 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 mother-in-law loves to hear him say, "One day he's going to get his own wife." Ah. Why? Because he has a positive perception of how he sees his mother and father and what that is. Mm -hmm. Like, it, like Odaplex complex is is real in my house. Like, it's it's so heavy on him sometimes. D sometimes he'll tell me, "You get your own wife. This is my wife." You know, he's referring to faith. You you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it, it, exactly. And sometimes, so I, he's joking. And I, you know, but uh, I'm I'm serious yeah, about until this. he gets like, older and you haven't checked it. Checked yeah. it exactly. Like he no, really thinks bruh. he's the king. <laughs> yeah, like no, nah, bro. And now he's on that. And it's funny you should say that because now he's on that place because I had to, you know, set it straight a couple of times. Like Nico, and he's like, "Okay, daddy, you the king, and I'm the prince, and yeah. Mason is the prince." I'm like, "Right on, dude. You got it, right?" But not to get off track, but th those are the first people who witness what marriage is. Your children. And yeah. then outside, people are always watching. Like me and Faith were walking through the hallways of church the other day. And I remember Angie said to me, would y'all stop being so cute? Yeah, which, yeah. No. <laughs> which lets me know that not only are you watching, but yeah. other people are watching as well. And if your marriage is dope, what they're saying is, if it don't work for you, right. how is it going to work for me? So right. your marriage, I mean, to your point, Marriage yeah. is not just about me and my wife. It's about my kids. It's about everybody else. It's a represent. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, say your piece. Say your piece, Isaiah. You can unmute yourself. Say your yeah. piece. Yeah, well, because I had to, I had to dip outside. Um, the Starbucks gets a little, yeah. little popping. Um, and that was one of the main reasons why I stepped away from the relationship is because the other kicker was that she had a younger, she had a daughter who was of entering that teenage age mm. and I'm teaching, you know, I was sharing wisdom with her that, you know, you always respect your body and you don't, you know, and you got to separate yourself if somebody's disrespecting your body like that. And so for her to see that because she saw things happening, 
I couldn't, it was almost like I couldn't share the wisdom and be a victim at the same time. Ah, and, you need to be, cons uh, mm. I, I want to say consistent, but that's not the right word. Yeah. But no, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. And, and so that was another factor, and, yeah. you know, and, and even to speak to the point on the Oedipus thing, looking at just my, cause I never had the stable marriage to look at. My father was actually more verbally abusive to my mom and they wow. never lived together. So wow. it was, ah. so even, so as I'm going through every relationship that I've been through, I spent this last year trying to just check all of them. Um, one, my first relationship I got into, I was used to being separated from the other person for an extended mm -hmm. period of time, because mm -hmm. that's what I saw. My mom didn't see my dad all week. We saw right. him on Saturday. And then I was like, okay, that formula didn't work. And then tried the opposite. We're going to be around each other all the time. And what do we know if people are just too, and we don't have a little bit of, there's still some of me. And then I was overcompensating for me, for her time. And right. yeah, and so just all those dynamics were playing and it's still playing. I'm 32, still trying to figure this all out. Yeah, man. Like for me, I, I have no regrets. I, I mean, I didn't wait. I mean, I think, let's say 16 from, from 44. So I was in my late twenties when I got married, mm -hmm. but my wife, Simone and I both almost got married to other people before, you know, before mm -hmm. I don't regret at, at all, you know, in the culture where we were, we were at the time, mm -hmm. you know, 20 late twenties is kind of late. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's late. I'm just saying in the culture. Oh, it was. Perfect. Yeah. And yes. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. So, so, but I don't regret it. And I also don't regret waiting 10 years to have a son. And I've been on my, listen, I haven't lived at home since I was 15. I had my first apartment when I was 19. Mm -hmm. So it's, it wasn't a matter, you know, it wasn't sort of the, the usual suspects, but I still have no regrets. I'm not saying other people need to think that way. I'm just saying I have no regrets for the timing of my situation. Nah, nah. That, I, and I, I don't. I don't think I have any regrets either, uh, uh, D, because after I, I, I experienced the divorce, um, which ended in 2008, it was seven years ah, before okay. I even, you, you know what I'm saying? Before yes. I got married again. So it took a, it took a month with seven, which is a perfect number, by the way. Yeah. You know, I was about to get on that, but <laughs> you know, we can't wear, we can't wear Isaiah out. Man. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Cause, it, it, cause then, cause like you guys said with the regret piece, yeah. then I had, I spent this year looking back. I was like, there were some things that I had to let go. This happened for yeah. a reason. And I know I could say it on this call. We have ordered steps. Like, yes, you, know, you ask God for something and he goes, okay, well, I put you through this, this, and this. What did you learn? Not what did the other person do wrong? What did you yeah. learn? And what did you, you learn that you need to do Word. No, all, all in preparation. Word yeah. up. So here what Isaiah, I appreciate that you came on, bro. And again, I, I wasn't trying to make you wait unnecessarily, but last week it just was kind of a, a thing. Like, we're going to do it. We're not going to do it. No. Okay. Sorry. So, no, 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 all love. No, no. I mean, it, and I remember, I mean, and I even shared it with Quest on a call the other day. Um, one of the reasons why I got attached to this podcast was from the marriage conference mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the energy that Quest shared with the people in the room is he didn't yeah. sugarcoat and he didn't pretend to be something. He shared his challenges. And then when I got on the first live pot, uh, broadcast that you guys put on, you yeah. were sharing your actual live thing and I'm seeing everything happening. So looking for that model that I was looking for, I, I think I've found it with the group of people that I, I'm watching and, being a part of uh, interacting with now. Oh. Well, your steps are ordered, bro. Just like, you know, those who, who want them to be ordered, the rest of us. So mm -hmm. thanks for that. I'm going to go ahead and put you back into the place where you were a second ago. If you want to stay in sync, you can just stay in, in that room. Otherwise, just go back to Facebook uh, mm -hmm. and you'll hear a little bit of the replay uh, or re it'll, it'll bounce a little bit. But, yep. Thanks, yeah. Isaiah. Uh, thank you, guys. Word up. We'll chat, bro. Awesome. All yes, right. indeed. Send yeah. them back to the to the back of the class. No, not to the back of the class. You can't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. That's what happens when y'all are from New York, Quest. Y'all oh, always is that what it is? You always on joke time. Is Why it, gotta be the back of the class? Why couldn't be that he's just there watching us from another from the oh, green room? Why gotta be the back of the class, Quest? Let me let me tell you something about uh Isaiah. Isaiah is a top-notch student. So I, I promise you, ain't no back of the class thing. Ain't no on. back of the class, man. So that dude yeah, pardon me. I didn't even mean that. It just jumped out, man. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I already know. Look, Isaiah was camera. Listen, man, Isaiah's camera ready. He's sitting outside of Starbucks, Bucks. looking like Chilling. he was ready to go for Chilling. For, already. Chilling. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, real talk. Shouts out to Isaiah, man. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So, 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 yeah, man. Um, um, D. One of the things that I'm learning, at, I mean, not learning, is uh, oh, it, it's further and further being confirmed for me. And I think we probably need to make a point of, of it as we start doing these seminars and workshops in twenty. Yes. Take us there, Quest. Take us there, because you know, you know why, you know why Isaiah, like, like now it's put two dudes on the screen because it's, it's transition time, man. Yeah, no doubt. Just talking, man. Yeah, I, I, I believe that we need probably need to stress the fact that people really do. I mean, like for real, you need to find out what marriage is and what it isn't. You need to find okay. out um, who you are and who you are not. Yeah. Um, it does requ- yeah, about that. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it requires you to be some things. Yes. That you may not necessarily be. Not you know, you may not be right now, but you need to be this before you enter into this institution. Yeah, at and, least. Uh, at least. Yeah. Minimum requirements. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Y- y- oh, definitely. Um, yeah. And 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 uh, more importantly, you know, as we talk about this thing. Uh, you know, divorce, you know, making sure that it's not an option for you. Yeah. And and being honest, you know, like I tell yeah. dudes, man, and, and 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 my timing is off, y'all. I'm not saying that you're shallow if you think divorce is an option, because as we discussed, people have different views of it. Yeah. It's not an option for me. Yeah, but again, option. so pardon my timing. It's just we're trying to squeeze a bunch of stuff into this same talk. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I tell I tell men, especially if you're shallow, and I won't identify what it is. We'll be talking about a thing and they're talking about whether they're going to get married. Yes or no. And then they ask me something that seems to be so noble. And they're like, what if I don't feel that way? I'm like, dude, if you shallow to thine own self, be true, be shallow and don't get married. Let like, me ask you this though. To, don't try to turn up. Hold on one second. Don't, don't try to turn up your nobility before you rack really are noble and then jump into this thing. And, and then you realize you are really still shallow and then you jump out. So if you're shallow, hold to that and be willing to grow. But don't get married just because you have an ideal of nobility. It's not a good look. Just wait. Take your let me, time. Let me let me say this then. Yeah. If, if you shallow. Yeah. And, and don't know you shallow. Oh, well, that's yeah. Or don't think you shallow. That's a whole different problem, bro. Yeah. Uh, and, and I guess I guess in those areas, man, and this is the reason why I got the dudes that I do like you and. You know, yeah. saying, my boys that I've been rocking with for the last close yeah. to 20 years. You know what I'm saying? If you if you don't know or if, if you know that you shallow and you have no idea uh-huh. or whether you're shallow and you're trying to figure out <laughs> whether you're shallow or not, I would advise you to get some dudes around you. Yeah. Who respect yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? Men of God. You know what I'm saying? Who... um are not impressed by you who uh-huh. have permission to to check you yeah and so when they tell you the things or tell you the flaws that you have in love yeah and you respond adversely that might be a telltale sign <laughs> yeah i'm gonna be quiet on that i'm gonna be quiet you know on something saying? that popped in my mind you and i had talked about it but yeah. this ain't the forum for it but you're yeah. right sometimes we got to get our chins checked and it's yeah. appropriate yeah in the nomenclature, you know, sometimes we have to really have a gut check. You have to, you know, have somebody, a third party, mm-hmm. observe and give an objective yeah. sort of, yeah. you know. I think I, I think we might have to have one of these that we do, D, that deals specifically with dudes. Yeah. You feel me? And then, you know, one podcast when we just deal with the men, you know what I'm saying? And then with the women, oh, we'll get bring to another them. environment. We could, yeah. we could, we could bring them into another environment. Yeah, and then, and then we'll have one where we bring on two, two, you know what I'm saying? Two, yeah, two, two gorillas, two gorilla women. You know what I'm saying? So we what could deal that? with. What does that mean, bro? I'm yeah, sorry. I mean, str- mean, strong and resolute. My, I mean, I, when I say gorilla, I'm talking about from. I'm, I'm thinking along the lines. This is BU talk now. I'm thinking along the lines of the assessment. You know what I'm saying? Strong. Okay. Yeah. You know, so, who understand, you know, res- they definitely have strong, resolute mindset. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, 
So yeah, so we can Got deal it. with the women's side as well. You know? Done a lot of, I've done a lot of assessments, a lot of, you know, you know, or, or been exposed to a lot, you know, of, of definitely personality yeah. and marketing sort yes. of approaches. So I understand they, in some of these approaches, they have, they use yeah. animals, yes. sometimes other elements in nature to sort of, you yes. know, do the sort of disc stuff or the, yes. Yes. you know, the type A versus this and all that. Okay. Yes. Got it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay, cool. So let's, all right. All right. Here we go. Quest. I'm about yeah, to pull, yeah. I'm about to pull a lid off the can a little Please. bit. All Please. right. So Quest and I are, are um, moving our, what we've already been doing to the next level. <laughs> Quest for his, how many years, mine for my, how many years, and we coming together. We've been, we've been talking about it for, thir- for since 2013 yes, on some level. I don't know if you ever realized that's when we really started talking about this Quest. Yes, indeed. But, um, so we we have we 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 are adding to the cadre uh, assessment tools. <laughs> and so what you can do is go to marriageaintforsuckers.com. Yes. Marriageaintforsuckers.com, no matter how you yes. spell it, but Quest Oops. likes it with a Z. Suckers. Yes. Suckers.com. Yes. And just go ahead and hit the contact link. Yes. And this is here are your options. Okay? Yes. We're going to have the option of assessing and post assessment evaluations with Quest only, Dave only, or you get the banger. The banger. With the two of us. So just uh, go ahead and hit us. Just go ahead and hit us on marriageaintforsuckers.com splash page. Hit the contact link. And if you are in a relationship, it doesn't mean necessarily marriage. You are in a relationship and you you want to take you know, take your thought process, take your, your spirituality. You want to take your, your emotional self and all, and a lot of the practical elements Mm -hmm. to the next step, Mm -hmm. hit us at marriageaintforsuckers.com and uh, let us know quest only Dave only, or you want the banger Quest and Dave together. Banger. We'll make it happen. Yep. Lord spares life. I just want to, I just want to stress that one more time that we are now certified facilitators. (laughs) Yeah. As it relates to that assessment, you feel? Yeah, me? yeah, yeah. And we got more to come, man. We, we're just we're not playing with y'all, man. Yeah, no. Nah. It's that I, I think a lot of the time, D, because we have so much, uh, uh, so much of a good time doing what yeah. we're doing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like people, yeah, no, we're, we're very serious about this. The all jokes aside, we're very serious about the institution of marriage. No doubt. Uh, and, and I'm gonna be honest with you, Dave, and, and people may not know this. It's not something that I chose. You know, ah. it, you know, this, this kind of chose me. So you were, you didn't have, you weren't, you weren't the romantic in that five that we talked about the five mindsets. You weren't the romantic. That was just like, dude, and you just let me add it. Whatever yeah. way I can get involved, I'll get involved Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about yeah. it now from my yeah, no. age five. Yeah. No, um, I, 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 I believe God put me in this position, uh, not believe. I know that he no did. Doubt. Yeah. S- specifically uh, for time and, and place and space and season such as this. Yeah. Um, like I told you, I made a mess of this thing the first time around. And yeah. where I am right now, as opposed to where I was back then, is completely night and day. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, God is good, um, man. Like, yeah, like like real quick, Quest. Like somebody yeah. said, we're gonna we're gonna close out in a second. Like yeah. you know, I was in, on an elder board at a church in in, in Northern Virginia one time. Mm-hmm. And the question came up among the elders, like when you look at cats like King David. Yeah. You know, or Moses, like Moses killed the dude Come and on. buried him in the sand. Come and then on. and then when something got crazy among his people, the people were like, so what you going to do? You're going to kill me like you did that, dude. Ooh. And the question was, like, do our mistakes preclude our ability to be helpful in the future? And of course, one of the wise elders, man, my man, Carlson Griffith, I'm putting his name out there, man. Carlson Griffith, man. Carlson was like, uh, basically. Those who repent become even more uh, helpful because we know some of the pitfalls intimately. Not that we need to know them intimately, but since we have made those mistakes, Mm -hmm. if we can, you know, somehow God can turn our lives around and we begin to, to walk in the right direction, then we have a meaningful approach to you know, some of the pitfalls that lay before people. So it's, it's good stuff, man. I, I, yeah. I'm i glad, like, I'm glad when cats, all of us, men, women, even children make a roundabout turn mm-hmm. and are now willing to be sort of vulnerable to say, now I'm going to share some stuff with y'all. 
Yeah. I don't know if you think it's going to lower your standard of, of me, but I'm going to tell you, like I stuck my hand in the fire and I know how it feels. You don't want to do that. And let me tell you why. And let's talk about winning. All of us. Let's talk about winning. Yeah. 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 Trust me. You don't want to stick your hand in that fire. Let me be the first to tell you. Word. <laughs> Word up. All right. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, maybe we should just say that we 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 probably going to be in the same room in uh, Maryland and at the end of March. I haven't been to the I haven't been to the DMV in five more than five years. Yeah. I haven't been I haven't been to the. Let's just say I've been on the other side of the sea for a very long time. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, we're probably going to be on the, in the DMV. Well, sort of outside of the DMV together with some other soldiers and women. Oh, it's going to be a lovely, uh, lovely week. Doing some good stuff, man, on behalf of those who want to win in relationship, man. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. So that's what it is, man. And I'm so glad that y'all, you know, invested this time with us, man. Yeah, it's no doubt. <laughs> As you always say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Stay focused, y'all. <laughs> yeah. What happened to peace? There you have it, y'all. I hope you've enjoyed your time with us. All right, y'all. So we're still on with those who are watching us live on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, we cut the audio people loose on uh, iHeartRadio and I and, and tune in, and uh, so the rest of them can get can get it on uh, iTunes. I guess it'll 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 crank it out in a few minutes uh, on the podcast side. But yeah, what's up to y'all in the live video setting? Uh, I'm sure Quest want to do some shouting out, and uh, then we'll get we'll get moving over here. Of course, as always. Who was in? Oh, I'm not even in the in my what's the name? I'm on. Yeah, oh, for that. Oh yeah, man. It. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shots mm -hmm. out. You know what I'm saying? Speaking to women, but not enough of the men to men conversations that you're suggesting. Question, David, much needed. No doubt. No doubt. No that's doubt. Our, that's our homegirl from way back. Oh, way, way back. back. In fact, yo, Vivet actually did. She was on. She was on scene at the same. Um, retreat center not too long ago, Quest. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Okay. I think with the same group, too, now that I think about it. I think oh, okay. it's similar, you know, similar setup. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Shots for singles, out. though, that time. Yeah. Oh, for singles. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. And we got some stuff for them, for, for those jokers coming up soon, too. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> Shots out to Isaiah, man. Thanks again to Isaiah for jumping in the room with us. You yeah, know, man. Coach Frank. You know, BK, I see BK, shouts out to BK. Frenchie, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. She in there, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she in there. She And look, she like, say what it is, man. And, and Aisha. Yeah, yeah okay. Frenchie and Aisha like, yo, whatever, man. New York is what it is. You it know, is. trying to make it what it ain't. Whatever. You know, man, yeah. Steven Shears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gideon. Yep, shouts out to him and James. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know the soul. Yo, it's found. You, you, you know, I, when, I'm looking at the same thing. I think you're looking at what you look. When the sound man say foundation, you know, we, we foundation. looking at it. Yeah, Nicole yeah, Davis. I'm gonna stop playing. Nicole Thank Davis. In yeah, the oh, yeah, I mean, in yo, the building. And to answer your question, yeah. yeah, if if you you and Junior want to know how to create it, hit us, man. We'll do the. It's for good marriages too, man. It ain't. It's not for just broken marriages or broken relationships or anything like that. So hit us up. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. Yeah, no doubt. Yes, indeed, man. Yes, indeed, D. Let's see who else on this list? Gemma, my homegirl from the D. I met her. I met her in the DMV, but she from the D, man. Detroit to the core. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, Gemma Thomas yeah, Gilbert. Mm -hmm. Big up, Gemma. Then Pastor Thomas is in there. Oh, yeah. Pastor Dwayne Thomas and Craig oh, yeah. Stowell. I don't know how to pronounce your name, homie. It's not my fault. I apologize. I'm not so good at it sometimes. Mm -hmm. And my man. Who that? He calls himself Sabbath Child. Sabbath Child. He grew up in the Ross flow. Oh, His yeah, poppy yeah. called him, named him Kiwami. 
when you came over to the Christian flow, I was like, you know what your name means, homie? And from that time, yeah, the Akan people yeah. would say, yo, Kwame, Sabbath child. That's my man, Rainford. Yeah. From uh from 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 uh from Pegasus, man, Trenchtown. Oh. Stand up. Yeah, shots out. Yeah. Yes, indeed. My co- my cousin Maria McFall, mm-hmm. McFall, mm-hmm. Atante Myers, peace and all of that, Atante. I'm about to add you to my prayer list. I should have done it long ago. Big up to you and the preacher Ivor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Adrian. Yo, how could we miss Adrian, Bree? Adrian Townsend. Oh, come on. No, she was in there with us too. Oh, shout oh, yeah. out to Adrian, man. Yeah, man. Oh, sorry. Uh, wait a minute. That's my I'm fault. Sorry. Yeah, my bad. Adrian Townsend Benton. Benton. We need to yes. make sure that the married name is in there. Yes. Yep. And my shout man out. from Waterford, Garfield Morrison. What up? Come on, my yard. You and Quest. Come on, my yard. Quit playing. <laughs> Y'all need to quit playing. Come on, your yard. Yeah. yeah. Frank Sagasta. Yeah. Oh, Coach Frank. Yeah. yeah I've been Sometimes watching. I've been Frank. watching him, man. And Bruce Waller. You know he in there, man. Like yeah. swimwear. Bruce. Coach, yeah. Coach Frank say, "Oh, Bruce. Bruce Waller's good people's man. That's oh not- yeah. I be watching him, man. I watch Primal, him. Primal man of God. Yep. Yeah. He watching. He uh, yo. He's a, he's the dude. Listen, man. The dude is consistent, man. That's all yeah. I can say, man. Yeah. Yeah, there's something yeah. that comes with consistency. So I, the young yeah, bro I'm is consistent. Yeah. yeah, Brian yeah. Keith, mm-hmm. and you know Ayana's in there like swimwear, man. Yeah, no doubt. Dog, the list is getting longer, man. So I don't know, man. I think we just stop right here, man. And you know, you there shout yourself out. Yeah, and yeah. uh, yeah, that's good. And uh, yeah. we about to, like I say, we 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 turning up. We already was up, but we going all the way up. So yeah. holla yeah. at us. Yeah, shouts out to uh, L. David Harris. Oh, uh, yo, I know that dude. You know, official yeah. dude, man. I like that dude, man. Listen, man, I, I think he appreciates it, man. <laughs> yeah, big shout to Jay. My yeah, man, Jay, down. Quest, Green. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Holla. Yeah, we dropped one of the Jays because you've grown now. Oh, holla. Yeah. Hey, we don't, we don't say <laughs> Jay, Jay, no, no, Jay. <laughs> Jay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Yeah. So we out of there. Yeah. What happened to Peace? Peace.